Say twin. Yo. You screaming the gas? I got good gas. Yeah, I know I'm good, bro. I don't smoke no more. Big bro, big bro. What up? I can get you paid, twin. You got nigga federal? Hell nah. You got, you got chase? You got a cash app cash? Hell nah, bro. I ain't got none of that. Bro, fuck me, big bro. Let me get a blue bit, bro. I'm good, little bro. You, big good. you trying to get a dog? I got Frenchies. I got Bulldog. Oh, oh, oh. Shit, <laughs> 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 Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Okay, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so the liberals are now in desperate mode. We got a few more months. We have a few more weeks till Super Tuesday come around. And they're having a little nervous with Biden. Everybody sees it. Everybody's nervous from The View to MSNBC, uh, CNN. They're all nervous. They all see the writing on the wall. So now they want to change horse. Now, who do, you, who do you think could be Trump is a question of the day. Michelle Obama for president in 2024. Sound far-fetched? Our next guest believes the former First Lady is already taking steps to become the Democrats' presidential nominee. Joel Gilbert is author of the book Michelle Obama 2024, Her Real Life Story and Plan for Power. Let's try Michael Obama. Ah, I'm sorry. Michelle Obama. No! Okay? We're going to try Michelle Obama. I've heard this rumor so long, I'm getting tired of it. The same thing. There's like always a family member who says, in my case, it's my brother, Keep your eye on Michelle Obama. And I say, that is crazy. You really think Michael Obama, sorry. You really think Michelle Obama really want to do this job? No. Right now, she living in opulence. She got, she do shopping. She got book deals. She writing movies. You think she want to really give that up to be the president? You really think that Michael Obama, God damn it. You really believe that Michelle Obama loved this country so much that she's willing to give all that up to be the president. For the first time in my adult lifetime, I'm really proud of my country. And not just because Barack has done well, but because I think people are hungry for change. Why you guys think that Michelle wants to give all this opulence, all this shopping, all the... uh the glamour of being a first lady and getting the mud with Putin. You think she really want to do that? You think she really loved the country that she wants to do this? Let's take a listen to David Axelrod. She never was interested in a political life. Even when uh, uh, Barack Obama was a young politician, uh, she really didn't participate much uh, in his campaigns. I, I was with him in his Senate campaign in 2004. I think she showed up twice uh, in the whole campaign uh, on election nights. So, uh, you know, she uh, she is not someone who likes politics. She doesn't like the tone and tenor of politics. Uh, and I would be floored <laughs> if she would uh, consent to that. Now, David Axelrod is the one that kind of built Obama's career. OK, he's like the Karl Rove on the Democrat side. And he knows the ends is now. He knows the Obamas. And he knows that Michelle don't want to do this job. She don't want to be no president. Y'all keep pushing her. But she don't want to do this. All she want to do is sell books. Do a little Netflix series here and there. Collect the cash. Collect the checks. And that's it. And keep it moving. She don't want this job. I don't want to be president. I don't think I should be president. I, I, I think I can do a lot of things. But... That's not one of them. That's not one of them. Based on David Axelrod prediction, I believe what he's saying, Michelle don't have no interest of running. Even though he, she is, have a better odds than Gavin Newsom, 
I think Gavin Newsom got more of a um, political career than Michelle Obama. Come on, guys. She haven't run nothing. All right. She never even been in the office before. At least Obama, Barack, at least he was a state senator. Michelle is a housewife. And y'all went to bet on a housewife? Are you guys crazy? Come on, man. Look at who Vegas odds makers are saying have the best chances of being elected this fall. Trump is a five to six shot. It's better than even. Biden, 15 to eight, a little better than two to one. Next in line, Michelle Obama, 11 to one, ahead of Nikki Haley, Gavin Newsom, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., mm -hmm. and Kamala Harris. And another thing, America don't want a female president right now, okay? You saw what happened to uh, Hillary Clinton. You see what's going on with Nikki Hillary? Nobody wants her. We damn don't want no goddamn Kamala. No. And you think we're gonna put Michael Obama in? <laughs> I mean, Michelle Obama in? And she had a disdain for American folks, for America. She don't like America like that. Well, here's what I know. Uh, Michelle Obama, Obama loves this country. <laughs> Let's take a listen at this clip of Michelle Obama when she was first lady, when she was standing there near her husband during a parade, the flag day. Let's take a listen. Yup, yup, you saw it correctly. All this for a damn flag. Mm-hmm. And you think she wanna be a president? You really think she wanna give all this up, all this shopping, all this, yes, first lady, to sit across Putin, you think she really don't do that? Do America want a person built like a man but act like a woman? And let's say that she do decide to run. Let's say Michael, God damn it. Let's say Michelle Obama decides to run for president right now. Guess what will happen to Biden? All the hens on the view. Every pundit, everybody that is pro Biden, they will drag him. They will start talking about his age, start talking about how old he is, start talking about his his mental capacity. They'll talk about Afghanistan. They'll just drag him through the mud. They will tar and feather Biden right now if Michelle Obama decides to run. That's how bad the party is right now. They can't say that because Biden is the best chance to get the to keep the white house so they ain't not gonna talk bad about him but the moment if michelle obama decides to run or even gavin newsom they will toss biden overboard so fast that he won't forget, he won't even remember it <laughs> anyway that's the thought for the day if you guys got any value of my content do me a favor hit the like Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. Hey, Michael, get off my lawn.